you shame yourselves and all of you that won't speak. If there's one thing we can all agree on, it's that everyone who has ever been close to Diddy should also be called out for knowing what was going on behind the scenes, including Mary J. Blig, because trust the internet is dragging her by her edges for knowing about Diddy's crimes. You should all be ashamed of yourselves and all of you who won't speak. I hope you get charged right with them as an accessory before, during, or after each crime, because every person around D.D. seen D.D. as the bit child well. When I met Puff, I was afraid of success, afraid to do anything that could put so much attention on me. And then when I met him, he was the complete opposite. And he was such an a good thing for me, because I need what he had. And so him, his, his, his ambition pushed me to be ambitious now. We all know that Mary G. Blake and Diddy are basically besties. And the only time they were not on the same page was when Mary J. started using. And she actually said that it was her fault that they fell out in her words. The reason we split up is me not understanding the business the way I needed to understand it at the time. Any smart man or businessman would have moved away from me, it felt like he was becoming distant, but looking back, I now understand why I wasn't delivering properly. I wasn't taking care of my health. So how can you roll his dice on me? But after they rekindled their relationship, Mary J and Diddy remained pretty solid, and they appear to be pretty close to date with Diddy, even saying earlier in 2023 that Mary J. Blake is one of the greatest storytellers in R&B history. And she created a lane for women around the world to speak their truth to power. In fact, according to Diddy, nobody deserves success more than she does for her part. Mary J also speaks about Diddy being her best and her mentor and generally somebody she really looks up to. So what people like Jag are saying is that there's no way somebody like her never saw what was happening you and ignorant, disloyal, ungrateful. And I'm going to call you up until you start acting like a lady because that fancy dog collar that you've had around your neck for the past 30 years should have been tightened. Otherwise, you wouldn't feel like a brand new Mary baby. The rumors on the streets also claim that Mary J. Blake was aware of the Cassie video that has been going viral. To begin with, I can't stop watching the video because it shows Diddy literally using Cassie as a punching bag repeatedly, like an animal. Cassie actually mentioned the incident in her lawsuit when she said that around March 2016, Diddy became extremely intoxicated and punched her in the face, giving her a black eye. It's the same incident in which she said that after Diddy fell asleep, she attempted to leave the hotel room, but he woke up and followed her into the hallway of the hotel. While yelling at her, what Cassie also mentioned in her lawsuit is that Diddy grabbed at her and then took glass BES in the hallway and threw them at her causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape the lawsuit. Also said that Diddy paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage now. Once I saw that video, I realized that Cassie did not even describe what happened in full detail the wild footage from March 5th. 2016 shows Diddy and Cassie at the old Intercontinental Hotel in Century City Lay. And in the clips from different angles, you can see Cassie leaving a hotel room, heading for the elevators, then out of nowhere here comes Diddy, wearing only a towel around his waist, running down the hallway and attacking her like a beast. He then goes to get a suitcase and purse off the ground near the elevators, then he turns around and attacks Cassie once more, this time viciously attacking her while she lies on the ground, immobile. After about four seconds, he drags Cassie by her sweatshirt into a room and leaves. I'm pretty sure you've seen the video, and you probably saw him pushing her and throwing objects at her child. The video is so graphic that I won't even try to describe it. After that, Cassie took a cab to her apartment, but when she realized that running away would only make Diddy even more angry with her, she went back to the hotel intending to apologize to him for running away. However, when she got there, 
Hotel security staff urged her to get back in a cab and head to her apartment, claiming to have seen the security footage of Diddy and her in the hotel hallway. Diddy did issue an apology, but people weren't buying it because he isn't the one I mean. I was at my lowest point, but I didn't apologize. My behave behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted I was disgusted then. When I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help, had to go in therapy, and going to rehab had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and Every day, I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. I don't know about y'all, but that apology was fake as F, like B for real. Even if he doesn't end up going to prison, I hope his career is over for good now. When it comes comes to marry people, have been leaving all sorts of comments under her post, talking about how she knew about it all. But Mary is posting her photos like nothing has happened. And to a lot of people, the only other way it would make sense as to why Mary GBL has always been silent about who Diddy really is is because she was also done like Cassie. There have been allegations here and there claiming that when Mary J and Diddy were together, she definitely got Cassie. And that may have been true because Mary J actually said on her Amazon documentary that there are things she's been through that she'll never ever tell. I mean, Kim Porter even allegedly says in her book, that never got released that Mary Jubleg was pregnant by Diddy and Diddy forced her to get rid of the pregnancy. And if you'll have forgotten, let me remind you how Diddy deals with pregnancies he doesn't want when Gina Hun was dating Diddy. She also spoke about how she was treated. But for whatever reason, people didn't believe her Gina actually went on to narrate how at one point Diddy took one of her heels and tried to throw it at her according to Gina he mushed her face really hard and made her nose bleed. And she also said that every time they got into incidents, like that the only person that ever helped her was deck everyone else allowed it to happen and looked the other way. And another shocking bombshell that she dropped against Diddy is that he allegedly paid her to get rid of several of their pregnancies. Well, I told him. And he was like, he was like, you're getting right. And then I was like, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know yet, and then. And then he offered me 50000 to get rid of it. But I turned it down because, um, I just, I just loved him. Maybe, just maybe, Mary Jublik also went through the same thing when she was pregnant with Diddy's child. Remember, there was also that time when Mary J actually said that she believed there was a lot of foul play in Aaliyah's death and said that she knew she was next in her words. Quote, it was just that when I saw her die, that's when I discovered the fact that I'm next. I don't know how or when, but I'm next. I don't know what kind of freak accident they're going to put me in or what kind of overdose they're going to sort out. But at the end of the day, I knew I was next. I just thought I'm scared so again. It actually really is possible that she went through all these things other women went through with Diddy. But regardless of whether Diddy also treated Mary Jublig like trash, or if she has been an accessory to his crimes, people are saying the bottom line is she knew. But she chose to keep quiet, okay? Maybe she's already working with the Fed, for all we know remember when Diddy's homes were being raided and arrests were being made, Mary J posted a cryptic post on Instagram saying, unfortunately, a lot of you all met me when I lacked boundaries and was a people pleaser, let me reintroduce myself, I burn bridges. When needed to a lot of people, this was Mary J possibly proclaiming that she is ready to burn that Diddy bridge. But what do you think is Jaguar right to say that people like Mary J. Blake should also be held accountable? Or do you think she's probably silent? Because because she went through the 